Do you ever see a project that you just have to make? This was the case for this sheet planter that I saw Summo from Hammond's Nest uh, makeover recently. The problem is here in Australia, we don't have access to the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General where the, uh, she found her little planter, but I absolutely nearly fell off my chair when I was able to find one on Amazon. It wasn't cheap, uh, but I just had to have it. So I'm just going ahead now to uh, give the whole entire planter a coat of the Dixie Bell chalk mineral paint in cotton and I've let that dry and now you can just see I'm just going over gently over the body uh, and the sides of the sheep planter with a little script font that I had in my scrap scrapbooking uh, stash and I'm just using some permanent ink and I'm just really lightly touching that just to sort of give a, the planter just my own little spin uh, and I just love the script font. I love the way that that just kind of like makes it look a little bit old world. Just being super careful uh, and making sure that I'm gonna dry this all off now and not smudge it at all uh, because the next part we're gonna be using a water-based stain, which is the Voodoo Gel Stain by Dixie Bell in Tobacco Road. Uh, so we don't want any of that stamping to sort of like uh, smudge as we're sort of like getting into all the nooks and crannies with our stain. Next, I'm just taking some cheesecloth, which I have pre-stained with coffee. And I'm just tying a little knot just to create uh, the center of like a little bow that's essentially gonna sit up underneath each of the little sheep's necks, uh, just to create a bit of uh, dimension. And then you'll see me apply shortly some little tiny weeny bells. I couldn't be more thrilled with how this sweet sheep planter turned out and thank you Summer for the inspiration. I'd love to hear if you get a chance to make one of these and what you did with yours. Uh, be sure to leave a, a little comment below and let me know what you did uh, with your sheep planter. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to bringing you some more fun DIYs.